Hello, cybersecurity professionals. Welcome to AV Cyberactive. In today's video, we'll be exploring different types of firewalls. Firewalls are an essential component of network security, acting as a barrier between your internal network and external world. So let's dive right in and learn about various types of firewalls. Today, we're going to go ahead and get an overview on five different types of firewalls, beginning with packet filtering firewall, stateful inspection firewall, application gateway firewall, next generation firewall, and last one, circuit level gateway firewalls. Beginning with the first one, packet filtering firewall. Packet filtering firewalls are the most basic type of firewalls and they operate at network layer with that is layer 3 of OSI model. These firewalls examine individual packets of data and make decisions based on predetermined rules. Packet filtering firewalls use criteria such as source and destination IP addresses, port numbers, and protocol types to determine whether to allow or to block packets. While they are very simple and efficient, but they lack advanced inspection capabilities and are susceptible to certain types of cyber attacks. The main advantage of packet filtering firewall include their simplicity, efficiency, and ability to handle large volume of traffic. However, they lack the ability to inspect packet contents and make more granular decisions based on application or other user context. This type of firewall are best for low cost environment. Next one, stateful inspection firewalls. Moving on to the next one and more advanced type of firewalls, we have stateful inspection firewalls. These firewalls operate at both network and transport layer, that is layer 3 and layer 4 of OSI model. They not only determine individual packets, but also track the state of network connections. Stateful inspection firewalls maintain information about the state of each connection, allowing them to make more intelligent decisions. They can identify and filter malicious packets based on the context of the connection, providing better protection against attacks. Now, the main advantage of this firewall is to provide or it provides improved security by allowing only the packets that are part of an established or an authorized connection. They can prevent various types of attacks such as IP spoofing and unauthorized access attempts. These types of firewalls are mostly used or typically deployed in a mid to a large sized business organizations. Next one, we move on to application layer gateway or proxy firewalls. Application level gateways are also known as proxy firewalls and are positioned at an application layer or layer 7 of OSI model. These firewalls act as intermediaries between the client and server, handling all the traffic on behalf of the client. Now, these application firewalls also understand specific protocols and applications such as HTTP or FTP, allowing them to make more intelligent decisions about whether to allow or block certain types of traffic. They can even detect and prevent application-specific attacks such as SQL injection or cross-site scripting attacks. However, their operation can introduce certain amount of latency due to the additional processing that is involved. The main advantage why you would want to opt for this kind of firewall or application firewall is their ability to provide enhanced security for web applications and other network services.
They can enforce specific application policies and protect against vulnerabilities that might be exploited at the application layer. Hope that was clear. Next one, that is the circuit level gateway firewalls. Now, circuit level gateway firewalls are also known as circuit level gateway or circuit level proxies and are specifically designed so that they keep the network secure and secure network connections at the session layer of the OSI model. These firewalls act as intermediaries between internal and external networks, ensuring that only authorized connections are established and maintaining the security of those connections. Now, circuit level gateway firewalls inspect the entire session layer information, such as the source and destination IP addresses, and also the port numbers, to validate the integrity and authenticity of deep traffic. Additionally, they offer or incorporate features like stateful inspection and application layer proxies, which enable deeper inspection of network traffic, mitigating the risk associated with various attack vectors. On the other hand, these firewalls can also introduce some network latency due to the additional processing involved in establishing and managing the connections. Additionally, they may require more resources compared to other types of firewalls. And with this, we come to the most interesting type of firewalls, which is the next generation firewall. Next gen firewall or NGFW in short, combine the traditional firewall functionality with advanced features. They operate at multiple layers of OSI model, providing a more comprehensive security solution. Now, next gen firewall offers deep packet inspection, intrusion prevention systems, IPS, VPN support, application awareness, and other advanced capabilities. They can identify and control applications and users, detect and prevent advanced threats, and also provide better visibility into network traffic. These types of firewalls offer a wide range of security features and advanced capabilities, such as application identification, user-based policies, SSL decryption, and sandboxing as well. They provide organizations with a holistic approach in network security. Now, one of the key strengths of next-gen firewall is their ability to detect and prevent advanced threats that often bypass traditional firewalls. Next-gen firewalls also have the ability to generate detailed logs and reports that help administrators monitor network activity, identify anomalies, and investigate security incidents. And now there you have it. We've explored five different types of firewalls that is packet filtering firewall, stateful inspection firewall, application firewalls, circuit level proxy, and next-gen firewall. Each type has its own strengths and purposes, and organizations often use a combination of these to create a robust defense against the latest cyber threats. Let me know in the comments if you want me to cover any of the firewall in detail. At this moment, I also recommend that you check another video that I've done on OSI model and attacks that at each layer with some sample protocols being also covered. Do check out the video from the cards. Now, if you have found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to AV Cyber Active and for more informative content like these. Stay safe and secure in this digital world. Also, share this video with your family and friends whom you think would benefit by watching this. I hope you all have a lovely day ahead. Bye now.